what's going on guys i woke up to see that the guys from cali just released their first 2020 version and i decided to make this video to go through some of the new features and some of the new changes they've introduced to this release so yeah let's take a look you can see right off the bat they removed the root user so as always cali always had the root user by default and here they have used a standard user instead of a root user which is very interesting i guess it has to do with uh, moving people towards having cali as a actual operating system right we all know that using an operating system as a root user is a security hazard so i guess that has to do with it and they have also changed the downloads for Kali as well so let's talk a little bit about it before making a live USB and firing it up alright so here we go they're talking about the non root user this used to be the default user and password and as they're explaining it here they've now changed it to Kali Kali which is a standard user so that's interesting let's see how that works once we fire it up and now another change they've made is that now they have different download options so there is a installer image which was also not the case before you were able to install it straight from the live USB environment and oh so you can now choose the desktop environment as well so you can do yeah gnome kde xfce so i guess you have to choose that right as you're installing your cali release and they also have the cali live version so yeah let's head over to downloads there we go let's take a look at the downloads right now so 64-bit installer 32-bit installer 64-bit live and the net installer which is smaller file size and that's it and besides that they have the virtual downloads as well so if you remember they actually used to have a lot more download options so I'm, I'm guessing they're doing this to make things easier for the users let's go ahead and download the 64-bit live version now while we're downloading our Kali image here I wanted to go back and talk about using Kali as your main operating system now I love the idea and what they're trying to push here however I will say that big part of installing the tools and learning the dependencies that's a big part of going through a Linux distribution by yourself and learning these things right just from installing the dependencies of a specific tool you're gonna learn a lot about the components of that tool so what encryption does that tool use? What other networking components it requires for it to work? So I do like the idea and I can see how it's effective for people that are in a hurry. But if you're new, you know, into information security, I would highly recommend just installing a Debian Linux or Fedora. Personally, I'm a big fan of Slackware Linux and just install the tools on your own Linux distribution. I think that makes a lot of sense and it's gonna teach you so much about the tools, the dependencies and how they work in general. Now with that out of the way, before we burn our live USB, uh, I will be using Rufus to do that. So you wanna go ahead and download Rufus 3.8 and our image has just finished downloading so let's get to it all right so let me open Rufus here 
there we go and yeah here is my USB you wanna plug that in make sure it's connected to your computer now go ahead and select your image Cali live and yeah everything looks good and let's start the burning process here you wanna select yes I'm gonna go ahead and write it in DD mode I know all the data will be destroyed let's move along all right we just finished writing it to the USB now let me plug it in and let's fire it up let me restart here oh all right let's just do the live system here so here we are this is the first release Cali 2020 I'm not sure that they have too many new tools or anything but I did read that a lot of the tools that were based on Python 2 were actually removed from the platform given that Python 2 is no longer supported and also a lot of the tools were not updated for a long time so that's good to hear because it also yeah we're gonna lose some cool tools out there but it also gives space for new developers to make improved versions of the same tools but yeah there we have it new version of Kali Linux looking really fresh can't wait to play around with it and I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for this video and I will make a different version for persistence or if you want me to do a installation video leave a comment down below and that's gonna be it for now I'll see you guys next time